welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a debut today from Gemma Oane, who um, wrote to us and said they took a lot of hours to create this Sudoku and they'd be really grateful if we would take a look at it. Um, it seems to be a combination of Arrow, Sudoku and Killer with a few um, sh shaded squares which will be even cells. Do try it if you fancy it on the link under the video, the first one. Um, I'll be having a go at it in a moment and uh, you can check the video link to see how hard it is potentially. Now, I am very keen to trail that tomorrow we are going to be bringing out our lines and shapes. This is the new Patreon reward. The It's a Sudoku hunt or at least a Sudoku pack of puzzles themed on lines, which will be our next uh, Sudoku app in our suite of apps, which you can check out on the links of, under the video. And uh, it will also feature shapes because of the um, Octagon logo hat, which is our newest item of merchandise. Do check out our merch um, on the link under the video as well. So they're all there. Patreon is there as well. Um, Sven Sudoku pad, which has had an update lately, all on the links under the video. Uh, but the first one is to this debut puzzle, Missing Information. And the rules are these, they are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. We're gonna be putting one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Um, cages show their sums. And a gray square contains an even digit. There are three of those, as far as I can see in the puzzle. Along an arrow, digits sum to the number in that arrow's circle. So we've got one circle here, which has two arrows. They must have the same sum. Um, and we've got one sort of stepping arrow where the this cell acts both as a circle for that arrow and as one of the arrow cells in this arrow. That's how it plays. Give it a try. Um, I am going to reset my clock and start now. Let's get cracking. So, we've got even cells. We've got a three cell arrow. Ah, right, we've got a 30 cage. Four cells, 30. Do you play much killer Sudoku? If you do, you will know that there is only one set of digits that are all different from each other and add up to 30. Uh, they are six, seven, eight, nine. And this cell is also six, seven, eight, or nine. How do I know that? And that's from a slightly different uh, triangular maths. The minimum value for those three cells, which all have to be different from each other because they're in the same column, is one, two, and three equals six. So that must be at least a six. Now, not only do we have a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple in column one, but we also know we've got two quadruples effectively. We've got that quadruple, let's make that yellow. And we've got this quadruple, let's make it blue. And if you subtract the common digits there, it proves that these two cells are the same. So let's make that yellow. Oh, and that's very interesting because then where does that cell go in column three? It can't go in this box or in this box. Where does yellow go here? Well, it can't go in a five cage, so it must go on this arrow. And it's quite big. It's six, seven, eight or nine. But it contributes to an arrow sum that comes to the number in this even cell. And I think, therefore, that has to be an eight. This is obviously, a, it's bigger than whatever the yellow digit is, which is at least six. So this is seven, eight, or nine. The only even one of those, that's the way to look at it, is eight. And therefore, there is either a six or a seven in yellow, along with a one or a two in those cells. Yellow, we now know, is six or seven. Now, on this arrow, that means that we're selecting a set that is either one, two, three, or one, two, four. It must be a five in one of these cells in column one. Um, 
these are using the other digit out of one and two. It's either a one four pair or a two three pair. This could be a four four arrow. We've got to be careful about that. Ah, oh, but look. Uh, first of all, I was wondering, could that be high? Could that be six or seven on this, um, on this arrow? Actually, the more important question is, what does even minus even give you? And the answer is even. So this is an even digit. Uh, this is therefore a two six pair. This is therefore not got a two in it. It's a one four pair. That's not a two either. Um, but I think we know that this isn't a six because to add to another even digit would put an eight here. So that is a two. In fact, that is the, the non-yellow cell. This one is the yellow cell. That is six. We now know six is the identity of yellow. And that is going to tidy up quite a bit of stuff for us. So we get a seven, eight, nine, triple, a one, two, three, triple. This is a five, four pair in the column. That fixes this cell as a one. Now we can complete this other arrow. That's a seven. This gray even arrow, I think it's now got to be two. Oh no, got to be careful. It's not necessarily two plus four equals six because it could be a repeat digit. Two plus two equals four. So let's just not make presumptions. That one sees this digit. It's handy. These are at least a three and a four, adding to at least seven there. Oh, in fact, we've got a one, two pair down here. We've got a three, five pair, because that one and two see these cells. That's the issue. So this is a seven, eight, nine triple. This is a three, four, five triple, which actually doesn't tidy up this arrow at all. Because you could make each of seven, eight, or nine, I think, with the various two digit components here. Three, four equals seven, three, five equals eight, four, five equals nine. We do have a seven, eight, nine triple here. And we've done well in columns one, two, three. This is nice. There's a good flow to this puzzle. Now, what next? This 11 cage could be one, four, six, or six, three, two. There may be another option that I can't think of immediately, but even those... Oh, this is this stepped arrow. I finally worked out that just as that arrow was adding three different digits, so is this one, because it's adding those two plus that one, because those two will sum to this intermediate total, and that plus this third digit gives this. So effectively, those three add up to this, which is six, seven, eight, or nine. Uh, 14. Okay, this nine cage. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Right. This nine cage, there are four different two digit combinations to make up nine. They are one, eight, two, seven, three, six, and four, five. Well, the ones with six and seven in are ruled out by those cells. So we're left with one, eight, and four, five. But we can't put four five in there because it would break this cell. There'd be nothing you could put in that. So this is a one eight pair. We know the order because of that eight in box thingy thing, box five already. This becomes a nine and that sorts out this triple completely. Now this 14 cage, yes, 14 can only have the constituent digits five, six, eight, and nine in it. And this digit sees nine, six, and eight. So that's five. That's nine. There's going to be a nine. Oh, no, hang on. First of all, the five sees that. This is a two, three pair to finish row five. One of these is a nine. Oh, one of them's a five as well. Yes, we've got a sort of 9-5 X-Wing, so that's a 9-5 pair. This is a 1-4-6 triple. These are from 2-3-7. Um, now, how do I get into these cages or this triple? It's odd that this didn't resolve.
Ah, oh, this is vital, I think. Hang on a second. I don't think this can be a six. I thought this was definitely going to be a six. But how would you make up the rest of this 11 cage if this was a six? That's beautiful. You'd make it up either with two, three to make 11, but that would break this central cell because there'd be no possible fill for that. Or if this was six, then the alternative is four, one here. But if that was six, you'd need a four on this gray cell. That's really pretty. So six doesn't work in this cell. This is a four, that's a two. Now these add up to six, not using a two or a four. So they're one, five. The two looks over here, gets the one done. That looks back into the cage and gets the five done. This can't be five. That can't be four. This can't be seven, because if that was a three, four pair, you couldn't fill this cell. There's a six in one of those two. Oh, hang on. Five is looking at that, first of all. That is three or six. Now, what's going on down here? Well, I know there's a one on this arrow because otherwise the minimum digits, we've lost two and four from the column. So otherwise the minimum digits would be three and five. And although you could get that far getting to an eight here, um, it's not allowed to be a nine, so eight is all it could be. You couldn't then get to this cell because you'd need a one in this one. So there is a one on that part of the arrow. Now, does it have to go with a three there? I don't think I know that yet. So that wasn't quite the progress I wanted. What's in the 16 cage? Oh no, Sudoku, right, look at those ones. Where's the one going in the top row? Well, I can tell you it's not going in the 11 cage because it would have to go with a 10. So it goes there, that gives us a six, that sorts out six in box two. Um, oh, look, there's twos as well. That's lovely. So where does two go in the top row? It goes in this 11 cage. Now that is allowed in the 11 cage because it can go with a nine, which we can place in box two. That's put an eight in the circle, which has a three, five arrow. That's a four. In fact, we can do that nine and seven as well. And now we are flowing three, seven, eight, four and five can be written in. This is a three, eight, seven triple. We know that this can't be eight or seven. Oh, no, 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 something's gone wrong. This can't be a three, eight, seven triple because of that seven. So let's wind our neck in, go back a bit. Now, I said two had to be in this cage and that is right. So that's two, nine. Now, what did I then do wrong? I said this was a nine. Earlier I've claimed this couldn't be a seven because of that, it needs a five on it, that's okay. So this is eight, this is a three, five pair. What am I doing, what did I get wrong here? Nine must be there, it's still going wrong. Okay, I've done something badly wrong, why? Okay, I've misadded up this cage. That's what I've done wrong. I do apologize. Now, let's see if any of this logic survives this complete error on that cage. These add up to seven. So they are not two, five, or three, four. They are one, six. That does not sort out this pair. It doesn't do anything interesting. Right, that's not a four, that's all we've got. That two looks over here. I do apologize about my poor maths. Don't know what's wrong with me today. Right, now. Let's do something better. Right, we can still do the one thing, that's fine. We can still do the two thing, that's okay. Okay, lots of the logic did survive. That's not a nine. Wow, what a shambolic effort. Now there's a nine in one of these two cells and this five nine pair gets resolved in the other way. 
That puts a five in one of these two, and that's not a five now. Um, and unsurprisingly, the progress is a bit slower when you do the puzzle properly. Now, I still think there's a one in one of these cells, because if they were three, five, that would have to be a one. That's right. Okay. But it all got a bit slower. This, four, two, eight, seven, nine, five, one, that is three or six. Hmm. Now I might have to work on the 16 cage. Oh, look, that's become a four because it sees a one, six pair. Right, now the 16 cage can't have one, four or six in it. If it had the biggest digit of all, a 9, the other two digits would add up to 7 and would be 5 and 2. If it, that's all they could be. If it was an 8 was the biggest digit, the other two would add up to 8 without a 1 or a 6. They would be 3 and 5. So we've got 9, 5, 2, 8, 5, 3... If seven was the biggest digit, you can't do it. Seven, five, three doesn't add up to enough. So there's definitely a five in this. So either nine, five, two or eight, five, three. So one of these is a five. Doesn't really do... Oh, no, hang on. There's a nine in it, definitely, by Sudoku. That's better. Right, so it is nine, five, two. That's all it can be. This is not a 9 or an 8 now. Ah, it's not a 7 either because these three cells would have to be 1, 2, and 4, and you can't achieve that in this column. So that is actually a 6, the minimum digit there. This is a 1, 3 pair because it sees a 2. This is a 2. The intermediate total is easy. It's a 4. That 1, 3 pair sees that. We can place 5 and 9 in the column as well. We've got a 3x wing, putting a 3 in one of those cells. I'm not going to do anything about that. Oh, I've got a 2 looking at this pair. Oh, that's much more straightforward. 3, 1, 3, 5. We've got the six lowest digits all done here, which makes that a 9. This is not, that's where nine is in box seven. This is seven or eight in the bottom row. Now, coming up this column, nine, two, five, yep, fixes the whole column. Three, seven, eight, this becomes a two, and this becomes a two, and three, four pair can be written in there, thanks to the four at the bottom. Ah, I think we've got this now, one, six there, now. Oh, I got excited a bit prematurely there. Um, okay, let's do this row. We need a... F well, I don't know. There's not any... Uh, there's only classic... Oh, no, hang on. Look, this is a 7 or 8 because it sees all the other digits. That forms a pair in the top row. So this now becomes... A three, that's all it can be. Oh, that's huge. So we get a four here. This, oh, I thought we'd done all the parity things we would ever have to do, but even plus odd equals odd. So that is seven or nine. This must be eight. That's seven. This is an eight, nine pair. Um, let's put in the possibilities five, four, and three, seven pairs still to go. This is eight, five, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, four. The bottom stuff is all done. We can take three out of those cells, and we're st we can take four out of that one as well, thanks to this. So that's a five, seven pair. This becomes three. That becomes four. This is now five, so we use the last arrow 
and we finish off the puzzle and that's very neat. There's nothing wrong with that puzzle, very nice. Um, 17 and a half minutes. I would have saved quite a bit of time by being able to count up to 11, wouldn't I? That was a bit dismal. I don't know why I thought once I'd put a four in it, I needed a one five pair there, very foolish. The previous stuff was all right, wasn't it? When I said it was a six, if that was a six, two three wouldn't be allowed and one four wouldn't be allowed. That was all right. I just then lost my mind for a moment. Uh, don't mock me too hard. If you, if you made a comment about Mark has got that wrong and you didn't wait the minute to see me, minute or two to see me correct it, then uh, cross it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I will be back with more tomorrow. And uh, don't forget that Patreon reward coming up tomorrow for all our Patreons, lines and shapes. We'll see you then and bye for now.